Hey guys, so you're getting ready to see the auction haul. This is uh, a little bit long, but I got some interesting stuff. So if you have time, watch until the end. And yeah, so pretty fun to go through. All right, guys, so... Let me get on the other side so you guys don't have a shadow. Um, auction haul. This just said suitcase and contents. And if you know me at all, you know I like surprises. Well, let's see what's in the suitcase. There were a couple of pictures, but not much. So nothing in that pocket. And this suitcase is pretty decent, actually. Um, I only paid 15 for the whole thing, so not too bad, even if there's nothing in it. There's nothing in there. This is not very interesting. Trying to figure out how to get in here. Let's see if this is the magic wand. Okay. Creepy doll. So... Let's see what we've got. Oh, there's stuff wrapped up. Like I said, I have no clue what's in there. It's a little vase. Kind of cute. And then a towel. This is a little porcelain cup. And it's Linux Butterfly Meadow. Actually, these I think sell okay. Uh, this says Thomas Kincaid Collector's Print. This looks to be brand new. Really pretty. Awesome new in the box. And then I don't know what this is. Bombay Sapphire, it's metal. Vapor infused hand selected exotic botanicals. I don't know. Maybe there was something in this box at some point. I'm not sure what that is. If you know, let me know in the comments fruit sangria. This is just a little empty container. Primo dolce. Another empty container. So these might be good for some storage or something. Ignore all the trash on there. I cleaned my car earlier. Let's see. This says rut quartz tabs. And it's empty. Another 10. It says Ikea. I don't know if I could sell that, but it's kind of got some rust, so I'll probably just keep it and use it. A stapler. Let's see what this is. Hmm. This says eggshell. Nautilus, maybe? I can't really read that. Maybe it'll be on one of the others. If you guys know what this is, let me know. But it's very, very pretty. I really did not think there would be China in the suitcase. Dropped you guys, sorry. Let's see. This was stir straws. And this little Yankee candle holder. Might be able to sell that. I don't know what these dolls are. If you know what these dolls are, then you tell me. 
I'll inspect them a little further. And it's kind of cool. There's like some gems and rocks and stuff in here. I have a good friend who collects gems and rocks. So I'll probably give them to her. Let's see what else. Um, some rubber bands. This is another one of the um, Linux butterfly votives. So we now have two of them. Another piece of china. Let's see what this says. It says... H and C Bavaria, Germany, Heinrich. This is honestly a pleasant surprise here. This. Oh wow. Very pretty. Look at that. It doesn't have any name on it, and it does have some cracks there but that's very very pretty might have to try and find out what that is and that has its own stand here well, let's see what else we got this is a cute i think it's a celery like spoon holder or something hmm This is a little, maybe it's for like fruit dishes. Maybe that's to put celery on for a party. I see a broken cup. Let's see. This one is not broken. This is the same as that one I showed you guys before. This one, unfortunately, is broken. So that one is trash. Oh, wow. Look at the inside of the trash one. It's so pretty. I hope this last one's one of those too, because that's kind of cool. That looks like it is. Let's see if it's intact. And it is. That is so pretty. Let's see what this one is. It says J.E. Caldwell and Company have to research that but that's very pretty very pleasantly surprised with my mystery suitcase i bet on another mystery suitcase but i didn't win i didn't want to go too too high this is let's see world sl31 so i'll probably look that up running out of room on my table here this is very pretty I think that we already yeah we have one of those there so this is the second one of these the eggshell nautilus oh and that one is cracked so that's another one that'll be trash can you guys see there Yeah, that's another one of those H and G ones. And then we've got this looks like a big there are straws everywhere. Serving platter. It is Engagement Japan. So I'll have to look that one up. And then let's see if these two are as well. They look like they are. So there's two more there that are also engagement. So I might sell that as a three-piece set. And then we have some creepy dolls. Here's a bag. 
nine Advantix bag. There's another empty box. There's some weird candies here. These dolls are creepy dolls. Oh, if you know what kind of dolls these dolls are, tell me. Because I sure don't. Uh, here's another creepy doll. This one feels like it's porcelain. I don't see any markings on it. So, yeah, it's porcelain. Let's see what's up here. How to steal the Mona Lisa and six other treasures, famous treasures. So, I guess you could learn how to steal the Mona Lisa. And last, certainly not least, is this thing here. Bro. Creepy doll. She is definitely creepy. Anyways, the stand on this says um, Kaiser Chicago. I'm not sure if that's the kind of doll she is, so I might have to research that and see. Her head is on backwards. <laughs> Definite creepy doll. Okay. Her eyes <laughs> have dust there. Anyways, so that's all, I think, unless there are hidden pockets in the suitcase. So, there's what's in the suitcase. Alright, so this is another box I got. I don't know what that thing is. This looks like some kind of blanket. Oh, and it is a Woolrich blanket, guys. So, that should be good. I think I paid a dollar for this box. This is just an exhilaration small sweater. I don't know what that is. I'm something. Blue case. Makeup bag. So I got this box lot because that Woolworth blanket will probably sell good, but um. Here's some fabric. There's all kinds of crap in this box. But I got this actually because I saw this Olympus camera and I think it sells, I looked it up, I want to say 30 or 35 bucks. Ha, huh, it still has film in it. Let's see, but I didn't know there's another camera in there, which is kind of cool. This one is a digital camera, so I will look those up. I think the Woolworths blanket will more than pay for this lot, honestly. That's just a trash shirt. That's kind of neat, a little votive holder. National Geographic Birds of North America. So, I'll check and see if it's worth listing. Some kind of cable or tape, some kind of charger. Oh, what's this thing? HDMX. Maybe like a portable speaker or something. And there are a couple of these. They look like nail polish, but eyeliner. Okay, glitter eyeliner. There is this. Owl, which is very fake and light, just FYI. There's some SPF 30, some catnip spray, and last a bird coloration book. So maybe I'll lock those two bird books up. But anyway, so the camera will pay for the lot. That Woolrich blanket is a definite bonus. All right, so this box lot I got for a dollar. I want to correct the last one I paid four dollars for. Mexico decoration only. That's kind of cool. That one I'll probably keep because it's not worth nothing. So oh, these I'm going to have to all look up. But for a dollar world market. Miyako's Best. Great Mercury International. 
Tokyo, Japan. Guys, I missed out on a big lot, that's kind of cool, of um, cups and saucers that was probably thousands of dollars worth and I wasn't paying attention and somebody outbid me at the last minute. So, yeah, this one says made in Japan. That is very pretty. And I actually just picked up some of this at the thrift today. Um, 222 Fifth sells really well. That's a good brand to keep your eye out for. And then this says Pepper. I don't know what that says. Looks like corn proof. I don't know. Something USA. Let's see. Just made in Japan. But it does say Viola, so I'll be able to search for that. This one says Pervia. There's a tile. This one's marked Arawak Curacao. That's kind of cool. So these I'll, I'll um, look up by the name of the flower just to see if I can find them. These are Corel. I think Corel does okay. There are four of those. I don't know what this is. Um, if anybody knows, it's not marked or anything. There's the bowl. Two plates. And a bigger plate. And then there's this. Which is... Pagoro, Pagoro, for spoon and fork. This plate, this one is Mikasa, which seems to do pretty well. And we have the style number there. That's a really pretty piece as well. And then there are all these little shot glasses. Oh, that one's actually glass, I thought. Cosimo Mexico. So I can probably lot up the two Mexico ones. Um, that's just a plain one. Not sure. That's like a little thank you gift, so they must have went to a party or something. I don't know. This bowl is broke. So that's trash. This is plastic. And it's broke as well. And then these little palm plates. They are BBF. Bio bamboo fiber. So I might check those out. Those might be worth listing together. What is that in the bottom of the box? Look at that. That is neat. I might have to keep this. Really cool sea turtle. Let's see if this necklace is marked. I don't see any marking. I'm, I'm not lucky enough to find two gold necklaces in box lots in a row. But that that that's a really cool pendant. And that's all for that box. Alright, so I got this box of books. This is actually what I spent the most on. I got them for the baby. But I'm going to look like, because this is a chapter book. Um, This actually was selling for $4.80 on eBay. So some of these chapter books I might look up. Um, I was thinking they were more like kid books. But somebody bid me up. So I'm thinking there might be something in here or something. I'm not sure what. So I don't know if you guys see. There's like the cat in the hat. That's her shoes. Um, so I don't know. This one says copyright 1957. book club edition so I don't know we'll check it out and see but skylines I don't know there might be some more fun stuff in there so we'll check that one out too all right guys so these were two separate lots they are quantum exit signs there were three in each lot I paid about $16 so 32 for six so a little over five dollars each these are selling for 20 to 25 on eBay I got them because they're brand new in the box, and it'll be a multi-quantity listing of six, which will be nice.
All right, guys, so this is another box lot that was a dollar. I don't know what the V is. Um, a lot of these, and I don't want to make this video extra, extra long. It's already going to be long, but um, I'll have to research these, and hopefully you'll see them as they sell. This is another Corel, um, and it looks like there are three of those. And we have got John Maxwell Studio for a dollar. I'm kind of willing to take a chance on stuff. Um, these are hand painted Thompson pottery. Those are really pretty. There are one, two, three, four. All of this was a dollar, guys. One dollar, five. <laughs> and then, let's see. It's really pretty poinsettia plate. That is Lynn's Fine China. Like I said, I, I couldn't see what was in here, so I'm going to have to research all this. i got to figure out what this V is. If you know what this V is, tell me. Because I have a lot of it. And all of these kind of cool different colors. So those match those two bowls. There's another one. And then we have this one. Which is threshold stoneware that one's kind of damaged i don't know if you guys can see next hey i think we have the little plates of this in the other box lot this corral as well this one's a little scratched up this one is royal royal norfolk mainstay stoneware This is Town and Country Home Collectible Waterford Hunt Valley Herringbone. So I have to look that one up. One, two. I think the rest of them are done. So there's probably like ten of those. Let's see what else. These are really nice white square china plates. But they are unmarked, so might just list them as a lot cheap. This bowl is Royal Dalton Studio Touch. It's kind of cool there, the little curvature. So that is the bowl. Whoa! So whatever that is that I have a ton of, I also have little plates of the herringbone, whatever it is. Yeah. Waterford, town and country. And then these serving platter. This is Oneida Culinaria. And there's also an oval one. And that's all for this box. Just real quick, guys, these plates, um, none have sold, but the only ones listed on eBay look like the small plates are listed for $20 a piece. And I have a lot of them and the big plates so that might be an awesome score all right i also got this veggie tales 20 piece train set i paid seven it looks like they're selling for about 45 on ebay all right guys i also got this vivitar series one this is a macro lens it looks like it's pretty clean um 70 to 210 millimeter 135th and then it has this case um i paid seven for this it looks like they're selling for like 26 maybe more on ebay um i don't know what this is i r beam i didn't even know this was with it uh, deluxe super wide macro i don't know might have to check that out all right last and possibly least i'm not sure yet We'll see when we get in here. Is this bag of clothes? I actually got them because my nephews are close to this size. Um, so I'm not sure if they'll want this, but let's see what we got. This is actually a little Tommy Hilfiger jacket, but um, oh, I can see it. No, highway jeans, it says. I swear that button said Tom. Huh? Well, I'm seeing things. So, highway jeans, jean jacket with sweatshirt sleeves. 
this whole box our whole bag was a dollar so not too shabby play it loud let's see I don't think there's gonna be anything super interesting in here guys try and go through these fast so I just got these in case my nephews want them because for a dollar why not um, let's see what is this this extra small Deutschland. I'm not sure what this is. Huh. I have to look that up. Uh, Under Armour heat gear. That's just t-shirt. 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 T-shirt, t-shirt. So, I'm hoping my nephews like these. Don't act like you're not impressed. Yeah, guys, don't act like you're not impressed. <laughs> Wrangler jeans shirt. Anyways, that's about it. So, yeah, I got these for them, so I'll let them look through it, and then we'll research this Duschland. It's got stars on the back, and see what this is. And that is it for the auction. All right, guys, I'm getting ready to end this. So here is my invoice here. So you can see all of the prices and um, I paid a total of $117.70 for these for every single thing you just saw. So not too bad. I think we got a lot of money there.